As you can tell by the title, you already know what type of story this is. So, I hope you got your glass and your wine because you know it's story time. Mmm. Mmm. Now, your girl got some fruit punch here today, okay? Because that's just the type of mood that I'm in. But if you want some wine, go right ahead. Ain't nobody judging you, okay? Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this story. So, how I found out I was pregnant at 17 years old. Well, of course, I was still in high school. Um, you know, just living my best life as a teenager. <laughs> Running around with my friends, you know, just being the normal teenager. My 17th birthday was actually coming up, okay? So I was 16 years old, turned 17. And um, for the first time, my mom let me go to a club. It was a 17 and up club, okay? Yes, a 17 and up club. So me and my best friend, um, we were so excited, you know, especially me because it's my birthday and I get to go to a club, what? This is my first club that I ever went to. And I was just excited, just happy. You know, I just knew we was finna time up the right way, okay? Me and my best friend, you know, we looking all cute and whatnot. We get to the club. And we get into the club. And I mean, it was packed, okay? Packed. But if you're from Chicago, then you already know how the club scene be, honey, okay? It be popping and it be packed. <laughs> So it was a great time though, and I think it was like reggae night or something, y'all. So you know, we up in there winding and grinding and hey, just shutting the club down because that's what your girl do. And anybody that roll with me, that's what they do too. <laughs> so, anyways, um, you know, just having fun, just having the best night ever. It's my birthday, I'm turned up, I'm feeling myself, and you know, me and my girl just we in a good mood, good vibes is going on, honey. And, of course, you know, in the club, it's guys that's going to come up to you and want to talk to you or want to dance with you and whatnot and try to whisper sweet nothings in your ear. So, that's what happened. This one guy, he came up to me, you know, we dancing and whatnot. He's talking in my ear and, you know, basically just how, uh, you know, what's your name and, you know, how old are you? Because it was 17 and up. So, I could have been anywhere between the ages of 17 and up. So, you know, how old are you? You know, where you from? And, you know, things like that. So, I ain't really trying to ask all them questions, okay? Your girl just trying to shake her tail feather and have a good night, okay? And I'm definitely ain't trying to meet nobody in the club scene at all. So... Um, me and him dancing, you know, I asked a few of the questions or whatever. And then after that, I was tired of dancing with him. I'm like, okay, on to the next. Like, I done dance with you. Leave me alone. You sitting up in here trying to question me like you the goddamn FBI. And I ain't trying to do nothing but enjoy my time. It's my birthday. Keep it moving. Leave me alone. <laughs> Just go. So, me and her continue to dance. We working our way around the dance floor. You know, just, hey, getting it. Okay, so... Next thing I know, here he come again. But I didn't even know it was him. You know, in the club, it's dark. You can't really see nothing, you know. You really ain't, you really ain't supposed to see nothing. And, you know, that's what it was. <laughs> so here he comes again. The reason why I knew it was him is because my best friend, she's standing in front of me dancing with a guy or whatever. And, you know, I'm in front of her. So he come up behind me. And, you know, I'm doing my thing and whatnot. And she leans over and whispers to me like, it's him again. I'm like, him who? She's like, you know, the guy that kept asking you all them damn questions, even though we just in here trying to enjoy our time. I'm like, ugh, okay. Him again. So, whatever. Fine. I'm enjoying myself. I'm feeling good. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> so, cool. I'm dancing with him and whatnot. Here he go again with all these questions. He's like, you know, I'm just trying to get to know you. You know, what's your name? Where you from? And, you know, what side of Chicago you, you know, you stay on? And how y'all get here? Y'all need a ride home or something? You know, me and my guys came. We got a car. You know, we can ride y'all home. I'm like, no, nah, we good, boo. <clears throat> we got our own car. We came in our own shit. <laughs> so, 
after I danced with him or whatever, he really, really trying to like keep my attention. Like you could tell when somebody just really feeling you. So I get tired of just dancing with him, okay? I'm like, look, it's a million other fine little chocolate ass men around here that I'm trying to go dance with. I ain't in here trying to meet no damn body. I'm just trying to dance, enjoy the music, enjoy my birthday, you know, just feeling myself. Leave it up to him, that wasn't finna happen. I mean, it was gonna happen, but with him. <laughs> Not nobody else. He decides to stalk me around this club, okay? I mean, everywhere I went, no matter who I danced with, I, I peek my eye over and there he go. I'm like, you know, so I'm telling my best friend, like, look, girl, I think this guy's crazy or something. Because he's stalking me around here. Every time I turn around, there he go. No matter who I'm dancing with, like, I don't know. I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. So, you know, me and her, of course, we start, you know, really, really being aware of our surroundings. Because we, we always aware of our surroundings. But we really, really started being aware. Because them type of dudes, sometimes you never know. It could be innocence, but at the same time, sometimes it can be bad, you know. So, we just really paying attention to our surroundings. And, you know, it's, but enjoying our night at the same time, too. But making sure we being safe. So, anyways, here he comes again. And this time, he like, oh, so, you know, you just around here dancing with all these dudes and, you know, you don't want to give me a shot and whatnot. I'm like, look, I just had to let him know, look, I'm not here trying to meet no damn body, okay? It's the club. I'm trying to enjoy myself. I'm trying to enjoy the music that the DJ got popping. And on top of that, it's my birthday. So, I'm not trying to be booed up with no damn body. I ain't come here with no boo. So, I ain't trying to be up in here booed up. Period. So he was like, you know what, I'm not a bad guy. I'm just trying to get to know you. I'm attracted to you. And, you know, I just, I'm trying to get a feel for you. I'm looking like, okay, but in the club? How you gonna get a feel for some damn body in the club? People ain't they self in the club as they is in their regular damn life out there in the street. But I'm like, Ugh, okay, he wouldn't leave me the hell alone. So I'm just like, okay, you know what, Candy, just give him a try, girl. So... I finally get to talking to him. You know, we exchange words and, you know, what's your name, your your age, and all this stuff, right? So, the club ends. So we get ready to go home. Me and my bestie, we walking out, get ready to get in our car. And, Lord behold, the people who he came with or whatever, why their car was parked right next to ours? I'm like, uh-uh. Because <laughs> here he come. With his guys or whatever. And they hop in their car. It's literally right next to where we parked at. So now I'm thinking like damn okay was it meant to be? Like that's just a little too weird. <laughs> so and yes they was there before us. Just in case y'all wanted to know. They was there before us. The car that we parked next to was already there. So for us to just pull up and park. And next thing I know I'm in a club with this stalker. It was just a little weird. <laughs> Um, of course, as we get in the car, he's like, oh, so look, oh, I see y'all parked right next to us. See, it was meant for us to talk to each other and meet us in there and whatnot. So I'm just thinking to myself, like, mm-hmm, whatever. So we exchanged phone numbers right then and there. Because he was like, oh, you know, can I have your number? You know, can I call you sometimes? And, you know, this don't have to be the end of it. I'm like, fine, okay. And it, it just jumped off from there, y'all. Like, we just started talking all the time. I didn't, mind you, this is the first time I ever seen him. And it was the last time I seen him for four months. Yes, four months straight. I did not see him again after that. Because I just wanted to talk to him over the phone and really get to know him. And really just figure out who this person was. Because, you know, I just met your ass in a nightclub. For all I know, you could be a goddamn killer. I don't know. So, and then on top of that, I'm 17. I'm still in high school. I'm not really thinking about no damn body. I wasn't in no relationship or nothing like that. I wasn't thinking about nobody. So, stalk me. And y'all done gave you my number. You know, we might as well talk. And, of course, each time we talked, he begged if he could see me. You know, when he gonna see me. Why we only can talk over the phone. And, you know, maybe I wasn't really interested in him. Why would I keep talking to him if I have no intentions of ever meeting him again? And I'm like, you know, that's just not the case. I just want to make sure that I'm being safe and getting a, a real feel for whoever you are. Because I don't know you. After that happened, me and my best friend, we decided to finally go to see him or whatever. We started kicking it. And then we just started doing this for like a few months as well. We just started going back and forth, seeing each other and whatnot. 
and just hanging out, just kicking it as well, just getting to know each other at this point in person and getting a feel for each other's personality in person. Because, you know, people different over the phone than they are when you sitting up in front of their face. Okay? Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, and it just really kicked off. It really became into a real cool like relationship or friendship whatever you want to call it you know because it still wasn't a relationship yet but it was a friendship we was developing that actually ended up turning into a relationship of course after all of this so we became physical and whatnot and when we became physical it was really more his decision than mine's because i still was just on the verge of you know just getting to know him and just kicking it and whatnot and but just kind of, you know, like, hey, we've been talking for like six to eight months and, you know, we've been kicking it hard. And, you know, basically, when you going to let me hit that? <laughs> so I'm like, you know, hold up when I want you to hit that. We start flirting around and whatnot. Mm. When we did, I found out I was pregnant. And that was a shock to me because I always protected myself. I was always taught to protect myself. And that's what I did. How could this happen if I made sure that I protected myself? So, of course, I was not happy at all. I was pissed. I was ready to strangle him. Everything, okay? Because I'm like, you know, if I don't protect myself, how could this have happened? How? I know for a fact that I made your ass put on a condom, okay? Condom. So how did this happen? So I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, in, in switching positions, did he take it off or, you know, what? What happened? And when I talked to him, he basically told me that because he liked me so much that he poked holes to make sure that I could get pregnant by him because he never wanted me out of his life. He knew that I was this such great person and just for my age, I was so mature. For my age. Y'all heard that right? Which clearly means that he was actually older than me. Now, when I met him at the club and we were talking about all this, you know, why he was whispering between nothing in my ear while I was grand and whatnot. He told me he was 19. Mind you, I just turned 17. He told me he was 19. After I found that I was pregnant, he was like, well, yeah, you know, some other things I got to tell you about me. The name I gave you is fake. And also, the age I gave you is fake. He said, I figured if I told you my real age, you probably wouldn't want to talk to me because I could tell that you wasn't one of them type of females that was into older guys or, you know, was fast and just out there like that. So he's like, I felt like I had to lie to you in order to really get you. I say, so how old the hell are you then? He was 22. Yeah, you heard that. 22. Five years older than me. Mind you, I'm still in high school. Your full grown ass then decided to talk to me knowing my real age. So now a lot of stuff running through my head. A lot of stuff went to What else could you have lied about? I'm pissed the hell off because now I'm pregnant about somebody I feel like I don't know anymore. Because the person who I thought I was getting to know for damn near a year is clearly not who I thought I was talking to. So, of course, after finding out I was pregnant at 17, I went to the hospital. The, the real reason how I found out, y'all, was... Because I know y'all like, wait a minute, you ain't tell us how you found out. You just told us you was pregnant. Okay, so how I found out was, I was eating some hot crunchy curls one day. Just in case y'all know what that is, that's some hot Cheetos, okay? Where I'm from, in Chicago, we call them hot crunchy curls, okay? <laughs> so I was eating them one day, and then on top of that, I had a really, really bad migraine. that just seemed to not go away no matter what. And my stomach started hurting. Now, I eat chips, I eat um, hot stuff a lot, but... Not so much to where it should make me sick or, you know, I'm just eating too much to where, you know, I'm hurting my body or whatever. No, I do love hot and spicy food. And if you've been watching me, then you already know that. So anyways, 
I just wasn't feeling good though. Like I started getting sick. I think I started throwing up. My migraine just wouldn't go away. I started crying because my head was banging so bad. I'm like, what is going on with my body right now? Why am I sick? Why am I having this migraine? What is happening to me? So um, my stepmom took me to the hospital and the doctor came back in the room like, well, um, you're pregnant. And I'm like, what? No, I'm not. I'm not pregnant. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, you got the wrong person. It's not me. It's not me. Go take that back because it ain't mine. Okay. So they ran another test because I was not playing. It wasn't me. I just knew I protected myself. But no, nope, they came back and it was me. So imagine being pregnant at 17 and, and now your whole world is about to change. Every thing just started going through my head first of all i'm scared i need to tell my mom you know at 17 how you do that you know especially when your parent didn't even know that you was sexually active and then now all of a sudden you just popping up out the woodwork talking about you pregnant what the hell you mean you're pregnant is what my mama said so that's when he started telling me everything that he told me about himself he poked holes in it he did it on purpose and he wanted to keep me around so yeah there will be a part two to this um which is basically i'll be talking about how being pregnant at 17 is you know going to high school and being a pregnant teenager so if you would like to see that then make sure you go and check out part two I hope you all enjoyed this story time. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, click that notification bell so you never miss another video.